today's the day, boys. We're gonna be installing the mine's front pipe on Jackie today. I am so excited. I've been waiting for this for months. This car is seriously freaking quiet. I thought it would get a little bit louder just adding the HKS uh, cat back. But honestly, it's not that loud. It actually sounds exactly how it sounded when it had the stock exhaust. Hopefully the mines pipe makes a difference. I don't want it too loud, but I just want her to purr a little bit more. Just a little bit more. So before we get started, I need to check to see if I have all of the right tools for the job. So this pipe goes all the way in there. There's one bolt right there. There's a second bolt right there, which god damn. Not too sure about. That thing is way in there. And it looks like I have a little bit of a leak. Wonder where that thing's coming from. Well, I'm gonna have to go buy an extension because I'm not gonna be able to reach those two bolts at the very end of that pipe. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm gonna make a quick run to Harbor Freight and then we'll get back to it. I recently wiped down Shadow with that new Mod Tool uh, Shine and Go product and it freaking smells good in here. Plastics all look nice and dark. I love that stuff. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. Let me know. I show you guys exactly how I use it. I actually use it on Jackie and it smells freaking good in there. So let me know if you guys try it out or not. I like it. I found some extensions and I hope this is long enough for those two bolts that are way up in that pipe. This thing was 26 bucks. God damn. So hopefully they don't break on me. So the moment we have all been waiting for. Finally installing the mine pipe. Hell yeah. Been waiting for this for so long. So this is pretty cool. They provide us with all three gaskets um, that we're gonna need. The two front gaskets and the one in the rear. It's pretty awesome. I know all of you have already seen the unboxing of the pipe, but let's take another quick look at it let me get it out of this plastic there it is oh my god this thing is super super sick i got my ratchet my extension and i got a i got a 14 and a 15 15 and a 16. not sure which size it is but we're gonna find out. Let's start taking this apart, boys. I'm gonna start off with my buddy WD-40. I'm gonna start spraying this thing on there. Make the job easier, I hope. My God, this thing is freaking heavy. That thing is heavy. As you guys know, 
I'm gonna be replacing that ugly pipe with this mines stainless steel uh, front pipe and to go along with it I have this right here so I'm really curious to know how this thing's gonna sound it's gonna be so much better than with this ugly thing now to get back under the car and install this bad boy gasket's not that bad I'm gonna be reusing it uh, I'm not sure if it's the ones that came with the turbos when I replaced them but they look in good condition Wow this thing is nice I can only imagine how this thing's gonna sound like once I get it all installed and turn on the car Shit. you guys see that oh my god that thing is way in there and we ran into an issue freaking test pipe is too short god damn it are you serious too short oh my god well guys the test pipe that i had for for the skyline didn't fit but i was also missing about like five or six inches in length that test pipe was a little too short and luckily i looked at the garage and i saw that i had another test pipe shadows test pipe and i have it right here so all we got to do this is actually the perfect length all we got to do is turn the holes to match up the other side so they're gonna have to cut it and re-weld it i kind of marked it where i needed this thing to be welded see that dot that's where the hole needs to be so i kind of just marked it and hopefully they can do their magic but let's see what happens the next day good morning guys i just got back from the muffler shop i got the pipe right here so they pretty much did what i asked them to they cut it they uh try to line up the holes to what i had them marked hopefully that was the the correct marking so i had kind of like marked where the holes should be and the holes used to be like somewhere over here so they cut it they moved it and hopefully hopefully this works hopefully it lines up if not then i'm gonna have to come back and they're gonna have to redo this whole thing she's ready boys she is ready can't believe that Evo test pipe fit. All right, now that everything's bolted on, it's time to hear the first startup. I'm gonna set you guys down right here. side but that's because those pipes really don't line up I'm gonna be taking it to the shop so they can cut it just so that the pipes aren't too stressed out I'm gonna go test drive it but before we go I want to give you guys a little a little rev Jeez. 
so much better. That was freaking nuts guys that was it sounded sick too i love it just driving normal on the street doesn't really sound loud it's not really loud it's it has a little bit more of a rumble but not loud but once you get on it that thing wakes up oh my god once we get to the spot i'm gonna put the gopro in the rear and go for a drive that way you guys can hear it but this thing is crazy this thing woke up oh my god hey, what car is this? like this is the sound that all of us in the u.s hear on the internet this is what we think skylines should sound like I don't know if you guys can hear that through my camera, but that thing sounds beautiful. And it just freaking, it opens up so nice when you get on the car, like when you're really going at it. Another thing I noticed is my boost gauge. Boost has definitely gone up. It's boosting way more. I don't know how to read the stock boost gauge so I gotta look into that before I start actually hauling ass all the time but the car feels and sounds so much better let me give you guys a little rip damn <laughs> so good I'm loving it a hundred percent worth it equal length front pipe is a must for any RB motor I'm not too sure about power wise if it's the best choice but definitely this is what an RB sounds like and should sound like yeah I'm gonna be setting up this GoPro somewhere around the trunk that way you guys can kind of hear the exhaust I don't want to put it this close um, so I'll probably end up doing it somewhere right here let me show you guys how crazy this pipe is it freaking sits so low look at that look how low that thing sits that thing is crazy if you guys are trying to pick one of these up and your car is hella low you guys are gonna be scraping that thing everywhere my car isn't even lowered. Look at that. It's not a, it was actually like a three finger wheel gap. Yeah, she's not lowered and that pipe is like this much off the ground, which is crazy.
Well, that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. I'm definitely gonna be getting more clips of driving with the car so you guys can hear the RB. That thing sounds sweet. I can't stop saying that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next Friday.